Morning guys, just arrived at Horseshoe Canyon here. I uh, left uh, my hotel, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes ago, got some coffee and some breakfast. But I uh, actually got to Drumheller yesterday, went and done the museum and stuff. I had uh, pre-purchased uh, tickets. So yeah, that was awesome as usual and it was uh, pretty good because I took, I, I chose the last tickets of the day. So most of the, most of the people were already out of the museum. So. You know, when I was in the galleries, there wasn't many people. Sometimes I was in the galleries by myself. It was pretty awesome. But, uh, yeah, if you ever get a chance to go to Drumheller and, and uh, especially that museum, uh, Royal Tyrell Museum, you got to go, man. It's like, it's uh, mind-blowing there, actually. But, yeah, I got a good night's sleep. So, going to uh, eat my breakfast, drink my coffee, and then we're gonna head down into the canyon. I did this canyon before. I did it first in 2017 when we brought the kids here. And we just hiked around uh, pretty close to the lookout here. You know, we didn't go too far in with the kids, but then I did it in uh, 2018 by myself. Went as far as I could up to the other end, the north, north end of the canyon. Yeah, make a little video. I got my drone and stuff, so flying the drone around these canyons should be pretty awesome should get some pretty awesome footage and who knows we might might see some fossils and stuff uh, the the rules around fossils here I think anything on the surface you can uh, collect but if it's in the ground at all like if you have to dig at all to get it out then you have to leave it you're not allowed to touch it but anything on the surface I think you're allowed to collect but it's not allowed to leave the province so even if i did find something i wouldn't be allowed to take it take it back to newfoundland so anything i see i'll record and stuff and if it's uh significant i'll, I'll send an email to uh to the museum and let them know where it is give them the gps coordinates or whatever and uh yeah we'll just have to leave it but at least uh it'll be nice to find some stuff still I spent some money yesterday at the fossil shops actually on a couple of fossils so I do have some to take home I, like those are purchased legally so I can take those back to Newfoundland but uh, anything you find you have to uh, leave pretty much. spot. I don't know if you can see those trees right up there. That's the area I want to go. Only been walking for 30 minutes and already overheating. Gonna take off a layer here, I think. So I picked up this Gregory pack, 45 liter pack, at the thrift store for uh, I think 13 bucks. It's a Gregory Sage 45. <clears throat> And I'm just realizing it's probably a woman's pack <laughs> because it says there's a tag here that says WXS. So I'm thinking it's woman's, it's women's um, extra small. It wasn't fitting me uh, properly, so I was wondering what was going on, and that's probably the reason why. It's all good because I'll just keep it for uh, Nevea. Probably be perfect for her. I got a lot of gear for uh, really no reason to have it all, but I just wanted to pack everything I. In case of rain and stuff like that, so like 
see what I mean with these straps are very tiny So I'm just stopped here on the hill, on a hill in the shade. And I'm gonna fly the drone a little bit. Should make for some uh, pretty epic footage. done a little bit of drone flying I think I got some pretty good footage I head back down we're gonna walk this way which is north around the bend a 
this is the stuff you gotta watch. These holes that go way down. A lot of this is undermined, so you really gotta watch your step. There's something else you gotta be careful of. Just coming up, checking out these rocks and stuff. Almost put my hand right on here. So you gotta be aware of those. Hiking around Drumhiller. It's like a different different world here. So nice here. What a day. Beautiful day. So we're getting closer to the area I want to explore. Just up here where the canyon narrows right down. This is the north side of the canyon. And uh, there's a riverbed. A little riverbed in, in between all these trees that, that's worn right down. Hoping to find some fossils down in there. If it's dry, that is. Well, I'd say it's going to be hard to find anything because the last couple of years, there's a lot more hikers on the go due to the pandemic. So I'd say I'll be pretty lucky if I find anything. As you can see how deep these uh, worn out, worn out uh, streams are. You run right down through here. Old culvert there. I can see there's footprints down in there, so obviously people have already been through here. And down in the river, down in the bottom of the dry bed there. You very easily come across some exposed fossils here. Just kind of got to know what you're looking for. Some deer tracks down here too. And uh, when I was here and 2018 see moose tracks too apparently there's a lone moose down here in the canyon so this here is a fossil you can see it's partially buried pretty sure it's uh, bone but it looks kind of like petrified wood but I'm almost 100% sure that's bone See how much we need. First time trying this one. Creamy macaroni and cheese. I'm sure it's not as good as the wife's uh, mac and cheese, but it'll have to do today. 325 milliliters.
five minutes, stir again, and then reseal and wait another four minutes. Oh my god, it looks terrible. No. I wait at the uh, the uh, I wait at the recommended time there, but the noodles are still hard. Give it a few more minutes. Should have brought some sidekicks. Use the right amount of water. are still hard definitely would not recommend this one yeah that's your mac and cheese huh. definitely added the right amount of water get out of here that's a big bee man gee was it Always pack out your garbage. Okay, now that that uh, disgusting meal's over with, we can uh, head on here. And uh, the wind is picking up, as you can see. Probably here from that tree. It's getting windy. Good thing I uh, flew the drone when I did. But uh, hopefully still some cool stuff to find here. Came from around here. Wind is really picking up now. So I'm going to head down in that little dry riverbed that runs through here. And uh, make my way back. But you can see, you can still go a long ways if you want it. Pretty amazing area. This is. You would think this is this would be full of fossils and stuff here. Probably is. A lot of it's probably still underground. We're still in the banks up here. But I'm sure there's stuff around. That's another cool fossil. Looks like uh, something fossilized through here, maybe wood. Or it could be bone, possibly. Pretty cool. Guys, I did find another fossilized bone fragment here. Unfortunately, when I was showing it to you guys, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. Once I did hit the button to turn off to record, I actually started recording, so I slowed down this little clip with the fossil in my hand this was a surface find so I was allowed to pick it up and touch it and stuff but here it is slowed down so you guys can see before I put it back and carry on my way well there's some moose tracks alongside some deer tracks you never think there was moose down in here but there there is and there's your proof right there <laughs> So just coming around the bend here and I stopped, put my hoodie and stuff on. It was uh, getting cold, it was very windy. And 
and it looks like we might have some rain too. When I put my backpack down, I looked over. Look what I seen here. Teeth hanging out of the bank. Obviously mammal teeth, but who knows what it could be. Like it could be uh, uh, something from the ice age, right? But I thought that was pretty cool. I don't see any other bones or anything around right now but I thought it was pretty neat and because it's buried obviously I can't uh, I can't touch it right I'm not allowed to dig that out or anything so what I'll do is uh, I'll uh, mark where this is and I'll uh, send the send an email to uh, the museum there and maybe they'll come check it out but still a pretty neat find As you can see, it's pretty deep right there. Pretty cool. Man, this place is awesome. It's starting to uh, starting to rain now, so I'm just gonna try to hurry my way back. Still got a ways to go. If it starts really raining hard, I'll. Uh, I'll be soaking wet before I get back for sure. Hopefully it doesn't get too bad though. It's coming down now. It's the canyon. I'm parked over here. Went down over there. But I came up down, way down there. By those trees way down. I don't know what I did there. Not paying attention to the trails, I guess. Big mistake. Could have been a real big mistake if it was closer to dark. Anyway, back in the car. Gonna get warmed up here now. And then uh, start the long drive back to Edmonton, about a three hour drive back to Edmonton. But I thought it was a, a good day. I, I was gone for like six hours. Nice hike. Uh, cooked some lunch. Came across some cool finds, especially the teeth hanging out of the bank there that was pretty awesome you know the wife and I've been talking and uh, sometime down the road you know when all the kids are growing we want to do a minivan conversion to a camper we want to do uh, like a cross Canada trip just uh, vacation kind of thing and uh, eventually do a cross the United States trip in a camper van we think that would be pretty cool we get to see lots of sights Hopefully sometime in the future, maybe maybe when I'm um, doing YouTube full time, hopefully. You know, there's nothing wrong with uh, having big dreams, right? So, just gotta work hard and uh, make it happen, you know? Anyway guys, thanks a lot for watching, and um, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.